Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in my office. We have some gorgeous fall weather. I know it's still kind of warm but it's not nearly as hot as we've had last week so I am thoroughly enjoying it. I'm feeling all of the fall vibes and to top it off I have my planner all set up including I've switched out my pen case and I have my planner in this beautiful new cover from Jane's Agenda. So I'm excited to share with you what that looks like and how I have it all set up for September. Plus I have a little bonus for you. I got in my Jane's Agenda anniversary sale order. Order, so I'm excited to show you what I got in that as well. So stay tuned for that and welcome to my office. So here we have my current setup in my planner, which I'm just absolutely loving the beautiful combination of this One Canoe 2 pencil pouch. And I've got that nicely filled up with a lot of my favorite friction pens, some of my other favorite pens and supplies as well. So that has been traveling with me nicely. And I just love how that coordinates with my new Jane's Agenda wine wraparound cover. I usually have my friction four color pen tucked in here as well. Typically I just tuck the little pen hook on it like that and that's how it stays. I was just using it so I had it sitting out. So let's take a look at how it is set up. So I have the beautiful cover that came in the September deluxe subscription box as well as the couple of the elements that came in the little decor card quality over quantity and the September calendar card. And then this is a Jane's Agenda stitched notebook saddle stitch notebook and i just keep this in here it has a bunch of notes for one of my jobs that's kind of an ongoing thing so it's sort of like my little bullet journal or travel notebook that just stays with me then i'll flip through and show you how i have it set up i decided to go with this cover or dashboard behind my laminated cover which i think is just beautiful together i have my table of contents and my when and how often to plan and i will try to link everything below if i can find it so this was a dashboard with the time zones that came in the deluxe subscription box from jane's agenda i think this might have come in the very first one i got which would have been last year june or july something like that i have some of my planning routines and then behind this 23 24 calendar is details for our school calendar as well as this year at a glance calendar that I took out of a farmer's almanac uh, planner and it just has lines down the center and then the six months on either side. So this has been working good to just jot down things like doctor's appointments, stuff that's really long term, big picture, only happens a few times a year, gets jotted on here. And that way, when I go to do my monthly planning, I can reference that. And then behind that, I have my quarterly planner. There's some holidays. So this is all pretty much the same. I'm gonna take a peek. Okay, we're gonna jump ahead. I haven't really found a use yet for this 2023 task list. There's lots of ways you could use it. I just don't seem to need it, so I haven't really set it up. So. Then August is basically all still in here. So one of the things I'll do probably as I start planning for next week is I'll take out all of my August planner pages. Some of it I need to Kind of go through and just decide am i going to keep using this inbox insert or just go back to using this page because obviously i'm not using both so that is how it all has kind of finished out for the month and let's go ahead and flip to september so i have the beautiful vellum laid over this gorgeous floral design there I did get everything laid out. I still need to go through August, close it out, transfer things over. So that all still yet is yet to be done. But I got the main calendar page set up. I ended up using some stickers from this Happy Planner Fall Harvest book, which I absolutely love. I'm so excited to have something like this because fall is my favorite. And then I also used some of the stickers. I have just a couple of these Planner Kate stickers. So you'll see the first day of fall stickers in there. Those came from my neighbor who was sharing those with me. Thank you, Marcy. 
And then I have the Prayerful Planner sticker sheet for September printed in a couple of sizes and in a couple of different paper formats. So I did print it on the regular sticker paper because sometimes it's nice to cover up whatever's underneath if I'm trying to cover up lines or text I don't want to show. And then I also printed it on the see-through or clear sticker sheet because that can work well in certain instances too. And I'll probably use those a little bit more as I go through setting up some of my weekly spreads. So I have my monthly setup, I think for the most part done, I'll probably go in and add a few more things like my personal numbers on each day for the Louise Hay Colors and Numbers book. Then I used the back for my September memory keeping. And this is the front of something that came in the September deluxe subscription box. So I'll kind of show you the blank layout here. We'll talk about this in a minute, but the whole set of inserts, which this is a new weekly insert collection that Jane's Agenda is offering. I believe it's going to be in the regular um, shop to purchase as well. There's a monthly version and a weekly version. So I liked that the initial page was dot grid. So I used that for my personal month page and I didn't have to use one of my blank dot grid pages for that. Then this is how the week is laid out. So you can see you've got vertical weekly. They are divided, the days are divided into three sections. You've got a task list here, your current calendar here. There is a habit tracker on the bottom and then this is just lined for notes. So I kind of played around with this last week because they did include the last week of August in this set. So, and I'll take out my, this is my um, hybrid dashboard divider that I got in the September box. So I'm using some of those really nice post-it sticky notes on the back. So these are the extras so that if I need one, I can pull it and use it. And on the front, I have one for errands and one for contacts. So that way I don't have an extra little sheet that I'm flipping back and forth like I was doing before. So you can see I used, I think these are Erin Condren, this hourly uh, washi tape. So I used that on either side, and what I opted to do was to lay everything out more in detail on the first day of the week. And then the task dots that carry through are just the things that I need to do every day, either in the morning or the evening, and I didn't want to have to rewrite. So I just thought I'm going to carry the dots across and know that this is basically the list I'm doing. So it's kind of like a habit tracker, but... I liked being able to see my week at a glance, being able to plug in appointments, and it also helped me kind of divide up my day and see what the hours were going to look like as far as when I had free time or time to work on things here at home versus times when I was going to be out away from the house. And I decided since we really try to be in bed by eight, lights out by nine, I didn't need to use the bottom half for more hourly like I think this hourly washi tape goes to midnight I didn't need all that so I just opted to divide it off and make this a priority task list for each day and I like that as well because as things come up if I know I need to do them on a certain day I can just quickly jump on here and write it on the day of the week and then I divided out this lined section so I have one of my jobs here, another job here, a third job here. And then this is my little evening homework tracker with my daughter. She's in fourth grade now, so we have a few more things we're working on as far as homework goes. So I just wanted to be able to track that there. And I think so far this is working really well. Like I said, it's a really nice way to get my whole week at a glance and really get a good feel for what I have going on and where my pockets of time are for different things. So that's the blank version. Now, I haven't set up anything else because I wanted to show you what's in my anniversary box, anniversary sale order that I got. And before I do that, I wanna kind of back up and show you something else I tried out for the last week of August was this, I think this is called a daily insert and it's a, a two, I can't remember if it's weekly or daily, but it's basically two, days per page. So it's a week on two pages, I think is what it's called. And it's a daily, I don't remember. I'll link it if I can find it, but it's dated. And so I got this in the anniversary sale and I pulled out the pages for the end of August. It was marked down because obviously it started for third quarter. So half of the collection is now outdated. 
and I just wanted to give it a try to see if I would like it and I've decided I really like it. So it's given me back that daily planning which I was missing but it's a little more compact with having two per day and there's still room for notes, there's still room to add and do different things. I was kind of playing around with dividing these two sections into home and work and I think that worked pretty well. Um, it seemed like there was a day that I really this is what the first page looks like. So I know this is confusing because this is the end of that other weekly page. So this is how it looks when you're looking at it. And I can show you the unused pages so you can kind of see. So you have your monthly calendar at the top. This is a place for focus or priorities. There's one habit tracker here. There's a place for tasks and meals. And then it goes into your day, separate day uh, planning sections. And so like Monday here is how I really kind of laid it out. So it gives me a chance to do a little more detailed hourly plan if I feel like I need it. It gives me a space for plenty of tasks. There's a space in the middle for notes if you wanted to use it for, there's lots of ways you could use this center section. So that is the week on, maybe it's a week on four pages. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, I liked the fact that the back, the very last uh, page of the month had this little month review review so I'm looking forward to filling this out as I close out August and then I think what I'm going to try doing is sort of using both of those in conjunction so my plan is to have this as my overall view for the week and in the middle I'll put the two sheets that will have my daily pages on uh, laid out on the week on four pages two pages whatever it turns out to be so I'll have that kind of in the middle but then I can see my week at a glance if I need to also. So that is my planner setup. I'm loving the whole look and feel with this cover and the um, decorative dashboards and all of that. This cover is gorgeous. I like the design of it. It's filled up nicely, but it feels so secure having my planner kind of all contained in something like this. So let's set that aside and move on to my anniversary order so this is what I got there's your little sneak peek whoops let's turn it around so if you got anything off of the Jane's Agenda 10th anniversary sale you'll have to let me know I was really happy to be able to grab a couple things just like that one planning uh, weekly planner insert I was just kind of wanting to try it out so this is everything I got I'll pull it out of the box and we can go through it all one by one. So there is a thank you card. Let me set this aside actually. And we'll just kind of go through things here. And another thank you note, scan this for more information. And this is kind of about the monthly subscription. Okay, so moving into, first of all, I got discs, several different kinds of discs. So these are a one and a half inch white plastic disc, which I guess it does say it on there. And some of these I got to fill in for sizes and colors that I don't have. Some of them I just got because why not? They were a good deal and you can always use discs. These are the frosted one and a quarter inch discs. And these are the wood grain, let's see. Which way does this open? Wood grain, and I think this is just a one inch disc, if I remember right. And then these are a silver three quarter inch metal. So I kind of got an assortment of sizes and materials and finishes. And I felt like that gave me a really good boost to my planner stash because every once in a while it's something where I just need to put together like a new notebook or planner. Um, okay, so this is the daily insert that I was trying so hard to name and describe and tell you. <laughs> so let's pull this out of the packaging and we'll take a look. Okay, so this is the daily 07 classic. And this is the one, so it does have this project section at the front, and it has start date, due date, date completed, and budget. And then there's a memo section down below. This is what the layout looks like without having it all filled out. So you have your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, your overall plans, 
and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then it just repeats. So like I said, I think I just wanna kinda of give this a try at the beginning of each month, then it'll start back over with this projects page at the beginning, which that may be something useful to have in my planner, but I feel like I end up with too many dashboards that do the same thing, so I kinda of have to see which one is gonna work the best. I also got this cute little paper clip, and this is something that has been, it's their flower paper clip. It's been on the clearance for quite a while, and I just thought, oh, why not? It's I like that the colors go with my September planning, so I might actually put that in my planner once I'm done filming. Then we have my Doc Red Notes pages. These are ones I have gotten multiple times, and I just needed to restock, so I've got two packs of those. Then in my... Uh, this was like the goodie bag that came if you ordered, if you one of the fir first, what was it, 100, 150, I don't remember how many they had, but there was like a little free goodie bag that if you ordered early, then you got all these nice things. So we have a beautiful Jane's Agenda mouse pad, uh, Jane's Agenda little metal paper clip, and then a Jane's Agenda floral sticky note set, which I have one of these already. So that's beautiful, a nice little collection and fun to have extra goodies in my order. And then the final thing I got was the Navy vegan leather planner cover, just because I don't have anything like this. I have laminated planner covers and I have the wraparound covers, but I wanted to be able to try out this vegan leather hardcover where you can still fold the planner back on itself. That is something I like when I'm home is to just be able to fold it back on itself right on either side and be able to use it that way. So this was a great way to be able to get one at a discount and give it a try. So that's everything that I got in my 10th anniversary sale order. It was definitely fun to get some extra goodies and some extra planner supplies that I was needing and I always love a good sale. So thanks for joining me today. I hope that was fun for you to get to see not only what I got in the Jane's Agenda anniversary sale, but also just how I have my planner set up and the things that I'm looking at for how I'm going to be productive and get some things checked off my list as we go into September. I hope you're having a great Labor Day weekend if you're here in the U.S. Hopefully you're getting to rest and enjoy some good weather wherever you are. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what's on your mind and how you're prepping for this new month and this whole fall season that's ahead of us. I hope you're doing well. Don't forget to join me on Tuesday for my Tiny Tidy Tuesday video and on Friday for another Beautifully Organized in 52 Weeks video. And if you haven't seen it, I shared the September Joyful Jordan box, which I am totally in love with. It's so good. So if you're curious to see that, you can find a link on my page. So click over to that. Check the description box for all kinds of other links. And other than that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button on your way out. And I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a good one. Bye. Mm -hmm.